This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? In this video, I'm going to talk about the Model 3 SR Plus again. Some of you guys are oh, so fed up with it, but there's one thing I want to show you. I've been talking about this for a long time, and now I want to see, I want you guys to see. Um, you know, the SR Plus has some weird property where when you start charging the car at higher state of charge, it will charge uh, faster, way faster than when you charge, uh, start charging lower. So let me just roll the tape here and show you. So you see to the left here, we start at 10%. That's the typical charging session I usually have. And then at 39%, I I preheat another time and then I start charging at 39%. So you see the temperature is actually lower than the other session here, but uh, it has this nice jolt of power. So you see that um, it's charging at higher power. We're going to look at some graphs soon, but just, I will just show you all the data here if, you, if you're interested. Uh, and also it seems like the 39% the, the, the charging session uh, goes hotter, the battery, so you, you see, it goes hotter than the 10% the session. So, uh, I tried again this with Panasonic battery. I have, as for now, I have a Model 3 uh, uh, performance with a Panasonic battery. I also tried with LG. Those two batteries, they don't do this, but I've seen something similar in other brands. I think it was the E Nero, but it wasn't that extreme. And then, okay, we start now with 77%, another preheating session, and then we start and just look at how fast it is charging at 80%. It takes 100 kilowatt. This is just insane how fast it is. And just like the previous, if you look at 77% versus the other one, uh, it also seems like we start with not that cold battery yet, but then it will also pick up speed because it's charging so fast, I guess, but uh, seems like there's some kind of algorithm here that the LFP battery is able to take this massive boost. And you see that actually the 77% is about to catch the 39% session. Yeah, it did, it did already. <laughs> it's just insane how fast it is charging now. Uh, this means that, okay, uh, if you actually charge a long session, um, you will, of course, go a little bit slow, but uh, if you just charge to, let's say, 80%, and then you can charge more often and top up, and then you will get pretty good speed. But look at this. We actually go in the 77 session. I go to 100%. Yeah, why not? Just to see how fast it goes versus the other. Uh, yeah, yeah, right neck on neck here. You see that 97, 98% equals to almost uh, to the left side here, around 85%. <laughs> uh, but you see, even at 99%, the 77% the session is going really fast, but I guess at the very end, it will then uh, go move towards the, the regular one. Yeah, usually I get around seven kilowatt at the very end before it tips to 100%, and then I overcharge 101%. <laughs> but then you will see at 39% the session is also coming again, but then the 10% is over, okay. But I'm gonna show you something else now. Let's look at the data. And this spreadsheet here is available. You can look in the Google Drive. Uh, I have all the data here, you can free to use. Uh, there's lots of other ch sessions here we don't care about. What you wanna look at is this one and this one and this one, because this, the, this one is the cold session. But look at, okay, at 10%, it starts at 170 kilowatt, and then it slowly is, well, kind of fast ish tapers off. But you will see that the 39 session here also start with 170 kilowatt, <laughs> but then it seems to drop faster. Uh, but then the third session that starts at 77% here doesn't get 170 kilowatt, but still 120 kilowatt compared to the other sessions. It's just crazy, right? But you just get that initial jolt, which is always nice because it will help heat up the battery. Uh, and then it starts dropping, but it's a flatter curve. And this one is the one uh, interesting. Look at this. Huh? Have you seen anything like this? <laughs> because. Uh, all the other cars I tried, at least the most cars, they don't have this behavior. Um, and then here, like I mentioned, it seems okay, that is massive speed here, but then it will m go towards the, the same point at 100%. And I guess if you would continue the blue line here, I didn't charge past 90%, it will also go kind of like this, I guess, boop, until uh, 100%. But then this one is also very useful. Um, here, we check the, the, at the checkpoint, at 39%, for the 10% for the session. How long does it take to go from 39 to 90%? Well, 30 minutes, and averaging 55 kilowatt. But then this session is way faster because you plug it in later, and you have higher average average and then even crazier if we start with the 77 we check that one we see that the 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 late session here finishes really fast has way higher average actually the average on this one is higher than that one even yeah so um uh, what this basically means is that um 
if we look at this one again, is that, you know, um, Tesla or many cars, uh, you kind of need to go deep, right? It's traditionally, you have to go to 10% to ride on the best speed, and then you charge it only to, uh, let's say, 40%. If you're really in a rush, then you, you get this, this nice curve here. But you see that here you can actually shift it and you can start around 40% and then charge it to, I don't know, 70% or something. Um, of course, it's slower than if you would arrive with 10%, but you don't take that much penalty. You can even start even later. Okay, then you take a slightly bit. But what I'm saying is that, you know, um, e-tron owners, they've been uh, bragging for the longest time that, oh, you know, we, we can charge 150 kilowatt flat, so we don't have to arrive with 10%. We can arrive with 40%, uh, 30%, and we just have a nice flat curve. Well, in a way, it's kind of like similar behavior you have here, except for that it's not flat curve, but you at least you have a higher peak until it drops. And of course, this car is way more efficient. So in terms of kilometers per hour, this is really good. So it means that uh, the problem, again, with, um, with the LFP that I have experienced myself firsthand is that if you try to arrive with 10% or even lower sometimes uh, the car won't preheat the battery and then when you plug it in you cold get you don't get this one you get you get down here or something right so that's that's a good thing because it means that when you are estimating how much range you need for the next charging session you can estimate so you arrive with let's say 20 30 percent because then most likely the battery will be nice and hot when you plug it in it should be like like here somewhere right the graph should go here so yeah, huh? What do you guys think? Huh? You you have seen this before, right? Many people mentioned this, but this uh, supposedly in Tesla it only applies to the LFP battery. I have not seen this in the LG and the Panasonic battery, only in the LFP. But it's a nice uh, feature, yeah. What do you guys think? Huh? Do you like this shit? <laughs> okay. Anyway, I think that's gonna be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.